G'day everybody, welcome back to Wombat Gaming, I am Starlord and today I'm bringing you a new game that I have not currently streamed or uh, uploaded a video on YouTube of, it's called Mount and Blade Bannerlord, uh, I've been playing this for a little bit now, it uh, was in pre-release and now it is finally uh, in full, it's, uh, so it's a full game, it's been uh, about a two months probably now it is super exciting essentially what it is for those who don't know it is a strategy action RPG uh, basically you're creating a character you're engaging in democracy craft trade conquering new lands and uh, basically it's a vast medieval sandbox so you raise armies lead them into battle you can command them uh, command the troops um, take castles you can marry you can have offspring create a destiny essentially is the name of the game so there's a lot of things involved in this game it's quite complex so what we're going to do is um, we're going to get straight into it we're going to create a new campaign and i'm going to basically in this video uh, i'm going to keep it we're going to try and keep it to an hour we're going to essentially dive straight in i'm going to show you the one of the quickest strategies to start earning gold uh, getting a small army together and um yeah the aim of the game is uh to get gold straight away and that way we can start um, you know working our way towards that campaign uh of i think it's clan level one is one of the things we need to get to very quickly uh it is quite a little bit comp you know not complex but it will take a couple of episodes probably to get there but this is what I think is one of the quickest ways of doing that so stay tuned and watch me through and I'll explain how to do all this all the way through so new campaign we're gonna zoom through the character creation so please um, yes there are many different choices you can choose in this particular thing we're gonna skip through the opening scene all right, so yeah, you've got um, basically six cultures to choose from. I kind of have been sticking with Empire or Britannians. Um, Britannians is great for end game, uh, so you know, and Britannians is great, I think, for early, earlier game. So maybe not so much for late game, um, but you know, this 50% speed penalty uh, and 15% sight range bonus in forest. It's quite good, but it only applies to forest. So. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to spend a lot of time in the forest, awesome, you can chase and outrun people, get away from bandits, get away from armies, and um, yeah, towns owned by Britannia, rulers have a 1 plus militia, but 10% slower build rate, which is not a lot, I guess, it's not that big a deal, but Empire has the most cities in the game, like, and, well, castles, so is definitely... Uh, culture is important if you want to hold on to these castles so you can always marry someone of another culture and put them in charge now uh, they will go into those details later but essentially this is gonna be we're gonna try Empire and go with this today all right so uh, look um, we're gonna go with height I'm tall myself so we're gonna go super tall I'm not really too concerned about what the person looks like uh, I will change I like blue eyes that's what I have and let's have a look at the hair and um, I think I like a bit of a ponytail and yeah, I'm not looking at too much body here so uh, maybe we'll just go for some sideburns like that and yeah that sounds good to me um, we don't want any markings let's just zoom through this but essentially you've got a lot of control here you can change uh, yeah clothing to see just what he looks like in real life you know so this is the dude so um, wait Voice pitch, you, there's lots of different Fall back! Lots of different voices. I'm just gonna leave it on number one. George! Gales up! Make a line! That's a good I like that actually. Going with uh, voice four, it's um Hold your position! The day is ours! Yeah, let's get that one, okay. Alright, this is where you choose your family. Uh, so essentially you uh, have you know, there are lots of um tutorials on this sort of stuff so I'm not going to go into this detailed oh we can do this later uh, but essentially you're wanting to look at you know these things give you attributes so um, you know land lords retainers um, you're getting you know a polar arm and riding um, abilities here so um, I like uh, this one I like bow I like being on a horse with a bow and scouting is quite handy later on so I'll explain that later on as well so we're going to just go with foresters um horses is very important too um medicine but let's have a look and see i do like to not go into intelligence straight away so let's have a look see if we can get something with horses maybe 
Leadership skills is good. So tactics with social. Social is quite needed. So I'm just going to go with leadership skills. And look, uh, we need, probably need our horses. So we've heard of the sheep. So we don't want endurance. Or Paul is going to go. really want to get something with horses. Let's have a look. See what we got here. Nothing with horses. So we could up our bowmanship and tactics. Or look, trade's really good. So we, maybe we'll go trade and charm. We're going to go with that one. Sold product at the market. Um, and maybe we'll get our horses here. Yes, here we go. So, um, pole arm horses, maybe. Crossbow, yeah. Horses here too with, with bow. So, I mean, mastery of the spear. Um, I think we're going to do this one. We're going to get uh, the spear is quite good. A lance. Um, so, we will go with that with the riding. I've not done this combo before. Um, and then essentially, before you set out on life, your biggest achievement was defeating an army. This is going to give you some sword fighting abilities. Um, saved your village from a flood. So this is more leadership and tactics, which we already have. Uh, invested some money in land. This is good. This is trade and also smithing. Smithing could come in handy. So I think I haven't done this combo before, but that could be something. Um, it's a good way of making money. You could show you guys later how to do that. Smith is some uh, good guides on smithing. Hunter Dangerous Abel. No, we'll skip that one. Um, roguery is quite an interesting one too. Um, you can tell when guard wants a bribe, things like that. So it is, but I not really interested in athletics at the moment. Treated people well. So we're getting a um, steward, uh, which you can, you know, manage things. Uh, we don't need really that straight away. So I'm thinking we might go into this one and get an extra trade. It's going to help and smithing as well. All right, let's go. Um, all right, organize your travels to break out. So that's going to increase our charm and our leadership. Um, we do need some knife fighting ability. So one-handed with a weapon and athletics. Okay. Maybe we will go. We will get some athletic fitness balance. And we need a sword fighting. Let's just go that way. Okay, so here we go. Uh, your name. Let's have a look. Andros. Andros, why not? Okay, this is our name. Let's get started. We're going to leave default settings for this particular game. Brother, it's been three days. Yeah! We're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? Yeah! All right, so are we up for a fight? Click this to continue. Looks like an old training field for the Legion. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. Practice will come in handy if we catch up with the Raiders. All right, so this is where you can continue with the, the tutorial. You can go uh, and learn how to fight, um, or we can skip tutorial. Um, you can ask questions. You think we'll catch up with a? Fresh, fresh. I've seen some smoke on the horizon. Well, they can't move too quickly if they're still moving. You know, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to rescue the little ones. Die trying. Die trying, no thanks. Like an old training field for the All right, uh, should we prepare Perhaps for the fight? Let's um, show you this area quickly. You basically left hand side, you've got some things that you need to work your way through. Um, I don't need to do that, so um, we're going to skip that. I know how to do it, not very good, but <laughs> let's um, talk to him again and then Are you just. Ready to leave here? All right, I'm ready, let's go. Alright, so um, we're essentially starting out on the warp map and we need, as said here, we need to go and get some food. We already have a quest down in the bottom left hand corner. It essentially says you're out of food. Village of Tervith, north uh, of here, you can buy provisions. Okay, so we're just going to zoom out and we're going to head on over here with our brother, party size of two. Now, uh, because we're in the first stage of the game, and a bit of a tutorial walkthrough bit, just until we get a free play, we can't actually buy things directly, so we need to walk around the village. So let's have a look in the village. Well, we're here, I guess. 
So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. Okay, so we need some food and some men, so, um, we're gonna just... The head man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. Looking for the head man. This is quite easy. I know where he is, but it was hold alt, and essentially it'll show up on the map. A little up there, you can see. We've got a new quest, so let's go up here and see him. We can get off our horse if we want to. Um, which is basically just looking down and pressing F. You can see dismount F. Uh, but we're going to just talk to him from the horse. I'm Orthos, head man of this village. What brings you here? We need some help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who'll join you in going after them if you'll pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task if you're going after the raiders. Okay, so we've been given a few more tasks. So you, uh, essentially, there are other things you can do in here. You can talk to a lot of the village people in here, and there are a couple of village people I've found that will give you a little bit of information about selling goods and things. Um, but we're just going to hit tab and exit out, hold the tab button down. And now we have a new couple of new casts. We need to recruit basically four recruits at least and then get some grain uh, at least two lots of grain so we only have a thousand a little less than a thousand because um we are paying 44 minus gold a day in wages so that's something you need to keep in mind so what we're going to do is we're going to buy some products we're going to buy um now see how our trading skill works here we got to buy this cheap 52 gold let's see what happens um i want to so done we'll go back in and we'll slaughter the sheep and then we'll sell back sometimes I make a profit sometimes I don't no I didn't this time so that's all right I just wanted to see sometimes you can make a profit um, I think it's got to do with some of the settings you choose when you're setting up your character all right so we do need some grain we only need a couple of pieces of grain um, keep an eye on your food bottom right hand corner you do not want to run out of food. Everyone starts to die. This little heart icon, you can die too. So, um, that's essentially all we really need. So, we've completed the one of the tasks. Now we need some troops. Okay, just, uh, you know, grab, um, well, we don't need, we only need four. So, I'm only gonna grab four. Um, Actually, no, I will show you with the full lot, so, because it does come in handy if you are new. Okay, so we've done that. Now um, we need to talk to the headman again, because we've completed both those tasks. So you're ready to leave now. Talk to the headman again. So we just go up here. We can visit, but we'll just talk. Uh, well, in most cases, uh, in this tutorial, you have to hit visit, but in most cases, you can just hit talk. It will take it straight to him, however, in this particular walkthrough. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now, about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through it from time to time. Name of Tactics. Treats people for free. <laughs> We're fond of him. I'm sure you are fond of him. He treats people for free. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though wouldn't tell us. He uh, set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who would stumble into a trap and let himself be Okay, captured. just walk through the middle of us, we're, we're just chatting here. Alright, we're worried about him. We can keep an eye out for him. Actius, we'd be very great. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about his quest. Alright, so we have a new... Uh, quest ourselves to keep an eye out for Tactios, um, and we're going to be getting something from, well, some information from him. All right, so we're, we're finished here. Let's tab out, and we have to kill. If you have a look at our quest, we have to kill three parties. Now, be careful when you come out of the map. Uh, sometimes these parties are very close together, and you don't want to take them all on at once, especially when you're eight men. So we're going to take this guy on. Um, 
you do have the ability in free play to send in your troops if you vastly outnumber as you can see up here our power levels are not quite the same so in this case you may want to skip the actual attack or hone your skills at fighting um but you would definitely want to attack if you are more evenly matched okay so we attack we've got we have to attack it's um in this particular bit all right so uh excellent we're all on horses and we see the army coming across, hit alt, so we just want to move um, our troops over here. Get moving! Um, okay, we um, all the way down there. Wait till they come across the bridge. This guy's uh, not knocked me off my horse. All right, well that didn't go well. I'm down. <laughs> didn't do very well there. Um, I usually play as an archer, so uh, that was quite embarrassing. These guys um, are scattered everywhere. Let's just um, end battle. I'm sure, you want to retreat? No, cancel. We'll let them finish it off then. Yeah! This is my brother. He's... All right. Well. We're gonna win this. There we go. All right. So I'm at one percent. I'm not dead. So um, silly mistake there. I just for some reason was thinking I played Batania for quite a bit. You get a um, <laughs> basically start off with a bow, and I got a little confused there. You get loot, so I'm gonna take that loot, and we are going to. We can't wait here for some time just yet, so, but we do need to heal. Um, you can see I'm at 50%, so I just need to get myself up to a little bit higher. Um, and we'll attack these guys up here. My well, 50 should be fine. I'll just let my troops do it this time, though. I'll continue to attack, so we're all on horses, but... Very good turning circle at the moment because of my skills. Yeah, there we go. It was the last one, so it was a little bit better. We used our troops. Um, 
We didn't do too bad. We got one kill out of the lot, so... Alright, um, 44, 62. We got some... Prisoners as well. We got some two prisoners here. We got a bit of loot. Uh, this is far better than what I'm wearing, so it's good. Um, we got some boots. They are better than what I'm wearing as well. Our man's um, don't have any on, so I'll take them. And we'll take that supply club, put it in there. Okay. So, um, actually. Actually, no, they're better. Okay, so we're done there. We've got one more, as you can see here, defeated parties, two out of three. So we need to find that other... There we, um, we go, oh, that's six. All right, so we... Where are they? There we go. Wait for them to get a little bit closer, and then we'll charge. Can't even see them. Cut them down! Alright, let's... Lost one of my headmen. Ah, horse got in the way. Alright. Your horses do do damage as well, so. to it okay there we go so that was quite easy using your troops yeah! all right so we've got uh, two headman's troops which you don't really need and we got some more armor type things they're a bit better than what I'm currently wearing several prisoners as raiders can um, basically had been dragging along it took Parched and exhausted, you can give them a bit of water or bread, and after a short while, one of them staggers at his feet and comes over to you. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name's Tactios. I'm oh, adopted Tactius. by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but I'm now thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. I was with a caravan, and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed, without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. We are looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children. But after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call Radagos, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band around this area. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. 
If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but, as I say, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. Well, I'll keep that in mind. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot will give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once, and he swore it was related to Neretzi's folly. I don't know what that means, except that Neretes was, of course, the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you could find out its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. All right, well, our quest has been completed. Um, so essentially, we need to find Raganoth's hideout. That's pretty straightforward, as it highlights straight away on the map. And you can see it is up this way so we can we've got 11 troops we can head back towards the town we don't need any more than 11 but um you can get more troops i believe if you want to now we don't you can no this town is empty it will refill after uh the time of day ticks over so um we can essentially only do that or buy products at the moment we have five grains still that's the only thing we really wanted but we can sell some of the stuff we had um so yeah um this is quite a good club i'm gonna swap that out um and because it's, what is it, swing damage of 39, and it's blunt, and I'll explain later what that means. Um, that one there is not blunt, that's a mace, we need the grain, we can sell this stuff now, so we'll just get rid of all this, make some money, oh, we're going to make 315 gold, or in this case, um, yeah. Alright, so... We are over our thousand again, which is good. Um, we're going to leave and we're going to head up to this area. You can see I've hi highlighted. If we can get there at night, uh, it's a lot easier to attack at night. Uh, we're just going to attack anyway. It's almost day, but nighttime gives you an advantage. And um, I'm just going to get these guys. Oh, no, I'm there, but I'm going to get these guys to follow me. Just, um, and I'll get them to actually charge through. I don't have my bow. Normally I have my bow when we'll be picking them up, so... Alright, let's go. I'm gonna just... Go! To hell with you! They can do injury to your own troops. Now I've just hit them on engage, just going to keep going until we take everybody. But in numbers I think we should be fine. So Batania will start you off with a um, a bow, and Empire starts you off with this. Um, you can see long spear. So got the enemy. I'm not going to keep these men after this. Um, walkthrough tutorial bit goes ahead anyway so it's not really that important although towards the end it's handy to have these men I'll show you why in a second our skills aren't fantastic at the moment so we're gonna need them to take out bragging Nos and his men at the end alright got ahead of him that wasn't clever, wasn't paying attention. Ah. 
All right. So that was the last of them. Now we go to the split scene. So, who's this that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? We've heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them off to a slave market, I know, though. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I'll force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Oh. Or... You and I could settle this one on one. So avoid one on one if you knew, um, because you know um, and you're very low skilled at the moment as well. So and he is not a, a bad fighter. So <laughs> lost many times. Um, so I don't jewel slavers. Men attack. All right. All right, there we go. All right, we managed to get four new prisoners. And we've got some better gear here at all. So, um, no, no. Sometimes this is just a roll of the dice, really. We don't have any head gear. Um, so it can be different every time. Well. I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm gonna be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. You better help us, our brother and sister, get our brother and sister back, or you'll be swinging from a tree. Oh, you'll need my help, all right. If you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. All right, so um, you come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corrupted that it could be anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest Tactosius, Tactios uh, mentioned to you and had something to do with Teresa's folly. Teresa's folly. Okay. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tacteus was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. All right, then let's get on the road. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. All right, so you want me to raise money to ransom the little ones? Indeed. You have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Tacteo said it could be worth a fortune to the right person if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, Make sure you present yourself as someone from uh, a distant but distinguished family. You can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. I'm gonna accept that name. Obviously, you can see that I could change the name to whatever. Jalos is our family name. That is fine. Get on the road now. Once I locate okay. the ones, get to I'll create a flag here. I love blue background with a gold uh, insignia, and I am impartial to a lion, so we're going to go with this one. All right, tutorial is over. You're now free to explore. 
Uh, Calradia. So, we found the Atacac, yes. Alright, so now essentially what we want to do is we zoom out. We want to make our way down into this land here. Um, and I'll explain why. We essentially need to recruit troops um, that enable us to bludgeon our prisoners and they were therefore keeping them and not killing them so and there is a particular type of troop down this way that will allow us to do that so um we are going to probably head towards that town first and try and avoid getting killed on the way down is the key we're just gonna zoom 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 All right, we have, as you can see, a thousand denarii, and we need a considerable amount more. So we're just gonna head straight down there. I'm not gonna stop at any of these towns on the way. Just to make this tutorial a little bit quicker. As the day ticks over, if you do have troops, it will um, deduct change um, from your troops, so. All right, here we go. We are making our way into this area. All right, we are here. So this is um, Quizar, and it's our first town. Uh, we have a quest in here, an issue. So uh, artisans cannot sell their products in, but well, we don't want that straight away. It's a little bit, uh, probably uh, a, bit, a bit higher than we need to have. So we want to just um, look at our grain. We have two, which is a little low, and we need to recruit troops. So we're going to recruit some troops. We need these recruits here. If you have a look at them, their tree, we want to essentially make them footmen. Now, uh, this basically get them to, I think it is this, um, yeah, level two, if I remember. Uh, maybe it's level one. We need to have them have this knob head spear so it's a um, with the one-handed mace so the mace all right and just checking here has the one-handed sword so we don't want to go to that we want to go to footman as high that's as high as we want to go uh, this will enable us to knock out prisoners and essentially we can trade them so we want to work our way down this little tree here this is really really important so from recruit to tribesmen to footman Okay, so we're just going to take everybody that we have in this town. We need some grain, and if we had anything to sell, we could sell it as well, but um, we don't want that. Now, we eventually want to get horses for everybody as well. At the moment, um, my horse is a, a Supter horse, which is not very good. It's just a basically carrying horse. Um, but we don't want to spend too much of our thousand on horses just yet and we want to start buying some better horses and these horses um, are quite expensive for what we need at the moment so just keep that in mind but as I said we need grain so we're going to scroll down to the food section and get some grain and keep an eye on that okay uh, we're gonna leave and now we can go from town to town until we build up a slightly bigger army five is probably quite not enough we want to fulfill have a look at our quest as this is um establish our um this is the main quest which we have plenty of time to do but this one here we need to establish a clown a clan and in order to get our brother back and our siblings we need a clan um and i to put them into it so it's really important that we get through this really quickly and this is the best way i believe of doing it or one of the quicker ways anyway need to get to a thousand dinars which is going to be easy uh grow your party of 20 men easy a rich clan tier one not so easy um hire a companion not that's fine as well so actually um we could probably actually just check is there a companion in town it's going to cost us probably too much gold but if you go to the tavern district you can see we've got this guy here um with the golden he is um with the golden we'll have a look if you hit n um, and go back to the home here. We want um, heroes and then we want to select uh, alive and then we want to select Wanderer. His name is Quith the Golden. This is this guy here. He has really good sword fighting experience, throwing, good riding as well and not too bad leadership and, tr and tactics. So a good fighter 
essentially. So if you were to recruit him, um, it would be quite handy to our party. So you want to collect these guys as you go. Um, and also see if there's any tournaments in town as well. So um, well, let's see what he's asking as far as costs go. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? My name is Andros, or Andros, Andros, we'll say Andros. Uh, tell us, uh, uh, tell me about yourself. I shall tell you, amen. My father is Athan, son of Thamuk, who was the son of, anyway, blah, 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 um, blah, 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 he was the son of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's long-winded, okay, um, yep. Um, we're gonna skip through this, <laughs> there's a lot of talking. All right, I'm sorry, um, I'm not paying attention. Yeah, you, that's good. Of course I am, I'm fascinated by this, but tell me about your own deeds. Um, do you have a trade or any skills or just a string of ancestors? It goes on to tell you more. Okay, I could use someone like you in my company. He's 575, now we only have 800, which could disappear quite quickly. Um, so, we probably need to be careful here I have seen cheaper companions. This guy, this guy is quite a good fighter, so we'll do. We will just leave him for the moment, and we'll go recruit some. And just see if we can get some more gold uh, before we start to recruit him. Okay, so um, recruit troops. We've got a lot more troops we can recruit here. Our party size is thirteen to twenty now. What sort of troops? Oh, they got some grain. We've got. We're okay for grain at the moment. So we're not going to buy anything else. We're going to leave. Um, one thing oh, I didn't check. We've got a quest here. It needs grain seeds. All right. So that's a small quest. It might be easy to do. So we'll just yours is not a face I know. Him. What is your name, stranger? Um, I am Andor, sir. I may ask your name. I am Madwin. Okay. Essentially, he speaks for the people. One thing you should know: if I you cross me, you'll regret it. I've heard you may need some help with a problem. Um, yep, they're all poor and they need grain seeds. Um, if they're going to sell the starve, is there a way to prevent this from happening? Grain will solve our problem. We need 30 bushels. And he's going to pay me 690 for 30 bushels of grain. Okay, so we'll see what we can do this for him. 690. Um, so we'll go back over here. And see if we can buy 30. We got six at the moment. So we need 24 grain. We probably need a little bit more than that. 630 was going to give us, though. So let's have a look. We'll go trade. Scroll down to grain. And okay, so grain is six, is 24 each. So, and he want we needed, we needed 30. So it's going to cost me more here to buy grain, which is not worth it. So grain obviously would be better to be bought in a town that has grain. As you can hop, you can see over here, this guy, this city over here. So we'll make our way over to this city. We'll cut through this one first. And we've got another quest up here. It needs grain seeds as well. Um, okay, just we'll, we'll we'll find out. Yours is not a face I know. I am Andor, sir. Uh, may I ask your name? Uh, he speaks for the people, and he has a problem. And the problem is, um, all right. So we have another commitment, so we can come back to this one if we want to. We're going to pick up the troops that we have in this town, though, to bring us up to almost twenty. And then we're going to leave, keeping an eye on our grain. Still six, which is good. Now this town down here has a little grain symbol, I think. So we're going to see if we can buy the grain at a cheaper price. We're going to recruit two more troops to 20. So we're done. And we're going to have a look at the grain, hopefully, yes. Okay, 26. Um, I think that's still too high. So we're going to leave the grain at the moment because... 10 times is 260. It's going to cost us seven or 800, um, which is too high. So we're going to leave that at the moment. All right, now we need to look for a 
raiders, essentially. So we're going to um, explore the map and slowly build up gold in order to buy horses so we can travel faster. We are looking for quests that involved hideouts. So there's some looters here. There's too many for us. Uh, the eight, though, is not too bad. We don't want to attack two parties, though, so you got to be really careful sometimes. Um, are we going to catch this guy? If we all had horses, yes, we are. We're not looking for a fight. I'm oh, sure you're not. But um, we outpower these guys quite considerably. You can go into... All right, neither am I. If you surrender, he's going to say, you never take us alive. We have the option to send in the troops, which just skips the battle scene, or we can attack. We out class them quite considerably so I'm not too worried about I'm just gonna skip and send in the troops we may lose somebody yes we did lost we lost two that's fine we managed to get some prisoners uh, so five of 19 and we probably got some loot as well uh, so shoes are not we have a yeah, do we have a bit we don't have a head thing at the moment put that on him and that robes, yeah, and that's here, yeah, and that's here yeah, as well. So we'll just take all that into our inventory. We can sell that stuff. Um, all right, so we were heading up this way. We're looking for a task where they, so he needs grain as well. It's going to recruit a couple more troops, bring our size back up again. Um, I suppose we were heading this way, weren't we? Okay, let's go back over this way. All right, um, we have enough troops. There's no quest here. Uh, let's have a look at what they've got to sell. Grain, 24 is a little bit cheaper. Uh, we probably want it a little bit cheaper than that though. Um, but finishing that quest with the other person is actually going to give us the gold, most of the gold back anyway. So I'm just going to buy this anyway. Um, no, I'm not. We don't have enough gold at the stage. Um, so we could... We could sell the prisoners or sell the goods. So let's sell the stuff that we did get and see what gold we can do. So essentially it's just uh, killing raiders, well, capturing them. Um, and we could trade off the prisoners in the tavern district and we would get only 25. And I'll show you why we're not going to do that. So, but we will see if we can trade off the stuff that we won. We've got 173. Let's look at something. And let's have a look at actually quickly. 24 was the grain price. 22 is a bit cheaper here. We're slowly getting the grain back up to what we want. We wanted 30. Um, let's go for 15 at the moment. We've got time to complete the quest. So you can see. Um, we have 16 days left, so um, we can up level tribesmen. All right, so this is where we need uh, tribesmen. So if you right click on the thing, it'll tell you. So we want tribesmen and footmen, so we're going to upgrade them to tribesmen. It costs you gold, it's not a lot though, so we're better off upgrading them as soon as we can. That way they'll. Might get killed as easy. Right, we need to still we need more grain. We need more gold as well. So let's head over to this town. See if there's a quest. There's some tr some tra uh, some got looters here. See if we can catch up with them. Because we don't have horses yet. Sometimes these guys just out. Oh, come on. You got yes. a problem? Okay, so we, again, power levels. Let's just skip through. Send in the troops. Fast forward. We lost one in one man. That's good. Got another looter. And got some new stuff. So we don't need to wear any of this. That's just gold to us. So head back to this town over here. Or maybe we're gonna catch these guys. No. Okay. 
Um, how's that quest timeline going for the green? 14 days. Let's see if we can sell off some of the stuff we just got. And we need um, 16 or more green to fulfill that task. Let's have a look. Uh, 20, so it's getting cheaper. Mm, we don't want to do, yeah, we don't want to go too close. This is the problem. We need some gold to keep our troops. If you can see down here, we have $40, uh, 40 gold a day, dinars a day in uh, paying costs. So uh, we'll just take the 20 for the moment and then let's see if we can, actually we need to recruit one more. We lost one then, let's recruit a troop. We don't want to buy the more expensive ones, so... We need a quest that enables us to... They might be looking for laborers or slaves, and they can use your prisoners. They pay ten, uh, I think it's ten times, and this is what we're looking for. So, it's looking for a good place to buy horses. There's an explanation mark, so there might be something here. He wants... Needs help with brigands. This is a good one for us, because he's going to want to kill people. So, and we don't need to recruit anybody, because we have 20 troops. Um, see what the grain price is in town. It's 20. So, uh, horses are pretty expensive, to be honest. 300, we don't want to be paying that if we can help it. But, um, we will talk to this guy. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? My name is Andros, sir, my school name. This guy speaks on behalf of the people of the village. And basically, have you? we heard you have a problem. So, we're gonna, so he's got a problem with bandits. You can read through this if you like, but essentially we want to uh, hunt them down for him. And hunt down two bands. And we're going to get paid for doing that as well as getting all the goods and stuff. So we want to do this definitely. All right, so we're going to leave, and hopefully, sometimes the bandits just appear. It makes it really easy for us, but sometimes it doesn't. And normally, when this quest happens, the, the bandits are generally in the vicinity. There we go. Oh, no, that's too many. We don't want to take on an army size of 18. Let's have a look at this task again. Um, oh, this one here. Um, yes, yeah, so we are hunting them down. Sometimes they says to stay in the village. Just like making sure I didn't mess that up. We do have 18 days to hunt them down. Could be any one. And um, we need to keep an eye on actually this upgrade. Is it tribesman to footman? Okay, so we need footman and tribesman. Okay. Keep in mind our gold's getting very tight, so this could be a little bit of an issue. So, I haven't seen any. We only have three days at most before we need to get some more gold. Alright, this guy needs help with brigands as well, but we've already got a brigands one, he's not going to let us do it. Um, and we don't need to buy products, I'll just check his brain price. Oh, it's super cheap, why didn't I buy that before? 
Um, we might get some of our... No, we're negative. Okay. Um, what's this worth? I could sell something that we don't need, like a shield. Yeah. Um, and then we could go and leave, complete that quest. Let's go and complete this. He is in this city, we can track it. Done. Okay, we need to zoom over there and hopefully oh, we're running out of gold, which is a bit of a shame. We may start to take casualties or lose troops, so hopefully we won't. Minus 32, but we only get 600 back, so this I thought I'd complete this quickly. Morale's not too good because we're not paying wages, but let's quickly get up there and pay these wages. Here we go. All right, so it's just a matter of talking him to again. It's been a while. It has been a while. All right, about that task you gave me. Here's your grain. All right, so we got our money back, I assume. All right. Yes, no. Well, that's interesting. We didn't get any... I thought we were supposed to get grain money for that. Okay, that's not good for us. I'm a of shit. Um, I misread that task, obviously. I thought he was going to give us gold. I'm sure he said he was going to give us gold. But, anyway. Doesn't matter. We've just messed that one up. Hunting brigands still. We still have... 15 days to get two lots of brigands. And... Need to desperately find some gold and some brigands or our morale is terrible at the moment. Okay, uh, 18, no, that's too many. Well, I guess we could We could do an attack. Alright. We're going to attack because we're very evenly matched here and I don't want to lose too many troops. So hopefully I don't have a sword. Oh, we're on the ground, which is... Eh. We don't have horses. Not terribly good, to be honest. Um... Okay, we need to hold, hold this position. Forward! On my flank! Move out! Okay, these guys are all on horses. Move! Leave no one breathing! Alright, they are all on foot, which is good. Oh, 
Alright, we got him on a run. We lost quite a few men though. Lost uh, ten of our men. Not too good, to be honest. But um, we did manage to, re mm, yeah, the footman, you want tribesman, footman. If you get stuck, so tribesman. Oh, we. Mm. You want the leaders? Got quite a bit of stuff here. We can sell. So this will get. We got some gold from that as well. That's one of the groups that we need, but we are critically short of men now. So our character has leveled up something. Let's go and have a look and see what that is. It'll be something we've got a a point Asher point pointing. So a scouting. Uh, two percent movement speed bonus during daytime. Most of the day is daytime, so that's going to be the best one. The bottom one is nighttime, so we're going to go with a daytime. Okay, um, recruit troops ten. We just need these guys, and we need one more brigands. One more party to destroy and see how our, our quest is going. Renowns, we got four renowns from winning battles. We need to find this is a good little one, so maybe we can catch these guys. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna send in the troops again. I want to skip through this. We really need to get that over and done with. Let's take their loot and get back here. We completed that quest. Didn't lose any men. All right, we talk to. Oh, we don't need to talk to him, by the way. The quest has finished, but let's have a look and see if we can recruit any more. No. Uh, how's our grain going? We could sell all of this stuff off. And. Uh, yeah, we can sell that. We don't need that. Gets us 400. We need a bit of grain. Grain. That's, I can't remember the price of the grain. That seems expensive, but we are running low, so I'm going to take some. Um, horses here, 288. A little bit cheaper for these, these particular horses. We need to eventually get horses for everybody. But we are in positive cash flow again, which is great. So, we need to be looking again for more troops. Let's zoom out. Let's go back over this way. And more raiders. We still do have... Let's have a look. Uh, our party size. We still have 13 raiders. So, we are looking to offload them at a very good price if we can. No quests here, no S. Um, so we just want more troops though. These guys, don't take, leave. And there was a quest in one of these towns for raiders again. So, let's see if we can find that one. Not this one, but we need troops. Get our party size back up to 20. Um, we are, let's have a look at the grain price. Still quite expensive, but we'll buy a couple. We don't want to lose. All right, let's go back down to here. I think it was one of these towns that had the quest again. Nope. Grain price, 19. We'll cancel that out. Leave. Let's go up this way. Keeping an eye out for raiders. No quest here either. Green expensive. Over head over here. Too many looters that one. We don't want to lose troops again. We have a quest here. Needs tools. All right, so we'll talk to him. This K 
can be beneficial. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? My name is Andros. Sir, may I ask your name? He speaks for the people and he needs help with a problem. So he has sickness and needs tools to help um, his laborers. So he needs one tool in 30 days. He's going to give me 33 barrels of fish. So, well, have a look and see. Tools are generally found in cities. So we'll make our way back over this way. Keeping our eye on any raiders. Nothing in the area. And we can trade and we can see tools are found in the food section. Let's scroll down. Here we go. Um, okay, so he's going to give us a lot of fish, which might sell 12. I think we, uh, so. I think he said 360. I think we're going to make a profit here. So we're just going to buy the one tool and we're going to leave with full party size and we're going to make our way back over to this town. Keeping an eye out for raiders again and looters. Smaller parties than 20. And we are over the hour mark, so we'll, we'll talk to him. Peace to you. About the task. I uh, bought your tools, so we completed that. Gave us the fish. So the tool cost us 80. And we have 30 fish. So let's just see if this is going to work out in our favor. Uh, we have 33 fish. We definitely need grain, but control, sell all that. Yeah, definitely a profit there of a couple of hundred dinars. And we need grain. So that was well worth that because we are down to one grain. I need to get. Um, we don't really need that much. We're done. Got a profit. And uh, yeah, it's about just trying to get over that thousand mark now, so we um, we can work our way down the coast, seeing if anybody has any quests. Which they don't, so we'll just head down to this town. And no quest here, just checking the prices of goods. Okay, don't need anything. Quest. Still getting renowned from winning battles. As you can see, it's the only quest we've got going other than this one, which is the long one. Um, and we need to do hire a, a companion at some stage too. So just keep an eye on that. What towns have we got? Um, let's head back over this way and then we can actually, no, we've been over there already. Let's make our way around here. We're looking for a quest that they want slaves. No, again. Now let's try over this. There's a few towns this way. Any raiders? You can join battles too. So if you see another battle going on, you can join them. Nothing happening in this town either. Question mark. Great. We've got something happening here. What's he want? He Art of Trade. I think this one's not what we're looking for, so we're going to leave. This city over here has a question mark over it as well. A post, uh, not a question mark, but you know, an apostrophe. So we're going to see what they want. He has a caravan ambush. That's quite a bit hard for us at the moment. We're not looking for that either. Alright, so making our way down the towns, looking for raiders. This can be very hit and miss. Sometimes you can come across raiders, like so many that you just don't know what to do with. And then sometimes, like, we've had pretty much a dry spell, but there is a, a, a quest going on here. He's out with brigands, perfect. So we're going to talk to him. I, I don't think I know you. My name He's is Andros, sir. May I ask your name? He speaks for the village. And he has a problem, so 
Basically, they got problems with bandits in the hills, and he needs us to take them out. So, same again, two bands of brigands, and he's gonna give us a reward of 550 nuts. Okay, so, uh, we have enough troops, we have enough grain. We'll circle out, and let's see if we can find some of these brigands. The ones, these ones can be, can be hit and miss. The ones with the, the layers are, are much easier. There's nothing happening in that village, so we'll go back around here. Let's um, see what's, there's someone who needs help with something in here, see if it's something that we can achieve on the way through. It is... They want us to capture... Uh, associates were captured by bounty hunters. I think they're gonna say we don't have enough army for that, so we'll skip that one. Again, with the brigands, trying to find... Trade. Mm. Hey. Hey, My name is hey. Andros. I'm just gonna see what this one needs. Has he got a problem? Yeah, he wants us to sell goods, but we don't want to do this just yet because it's gonna involve us running all over the map. So we're just gonna have a look. We definitely need to find. Here we go. Here's a. You got a problem? Yeah, I do actually. We want to take you out. Uh, we outnumbered them twenty to five, so it's going to send the troops in and finish this. We didn't lose any men. Great. We've got a prisoner as well, so we've got fourteen to twenty, and we got some stuff to sell, some loot. All right, so we need one more though. So uh, here we go. See if we can catch these guys. We're a bit slow at the moment. Off, stranger. That was easy. Okay, we'll take this. We outnumber them again. It's going to send the troops in, finish this quickly. Didn't lose any men. Bit of injury, but that's alright. Got another looter. And we got some new st some stuff that we can sell. So, oh, good. That worked out well. And we got our bounty. So, we're up to 1370 now. And, yeah. Uh, just continue to do this. So, essentially, um, that's what we're going to continue to do. This episode has gone for a bit over an hour, so we're going to stop it there. And I'm going to continue with the next episode in my next video. So thank you again for joining. Um, make sure that you, if you like this, uh, subscribe and um, definitely like the video for me. Uh, it all is appreciated. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in, in the next video. And we're going to go through uh, how to get to that um, that get, finish off that quest, establish your crown, your clan. So um, the clan is, um, we're nearly there on the Dinars and we're getting towards there on the Renowned. We just need to hire a companion, it's going to cost us about 500 Dinars, so we just need a bit more gold, but it's going to get easier. We need to sell off the, uh, the looters we have, we've got quite a few of them at the moment, and we are leveling up our recruits. So um, we need tribesmen and footmen here's the go, tribesmen all right and we don't want to um we wanted to go to footmen i think that was as high as we wanted to go so we don't want to increase them to infantry just yet so footmen all right so yep we're getting a few good footmen six uh, so yeah, so that's what we're working towards. Thanks again guys. See you on the next video